Piaget pointed out quite explicitly, because he was very interested in games as the basis of morality, that a game that you have to punish people to adhere to is going to be outcompeted by a game that people will play by themselves. Bingo. Yeah. So what I- A natural so, ethic. So we make this argument, many of us who have this particular concern, we make this argument or some version of it. Here's the argument that I don't hear. The argument that I don't hear, but I'm certain that I believe and have believed all along, is that equality of outcome, even if you could achieve it, is in and of itself not desirable and certainly unjust. I would love to talk about that. I thought you might. So my argument is very simple, right? What you want is a system that leverages well-being in order to generate uh, improvements so in other words, you want the reward that comes from successfully competing to get individuals to contribute to collective well-being. The Absolutely. mythology, the mythology of, of our economic system is that you're being rewarded for delivering stuff that's good, and that's why you're wealthy, right? Now, it happens that our economic system does a terrible job of this. It enriches lots of people who are actually harming other people. But in principle, if you were economically rewarded for generating well-being, that would be a good thing. And it is desirable, therefore, that we have a system in which people who have contributed more have earned the right to live better, and people who have contributed less do not live as well, but live at a respectable standard. And, and the it is... Bitcoin people would really like to talk to you about this, I'm sure. <laughs> it, they have made mm. themselves hard to talk to, I will tell you. But... Yes, well, they're hoping it's incorruptible. You know, it can't be gamed as easily. And it's an interesting argument. There's aspects of the argument that are very interesting. Yes, so... they're, they've cer they're certainly on to something. They, they seem to think they've found the ultimate... Uh, solution to all sorts of problems, whereas I think they found a very promising avenue, but not a, a solution. I remain to be convinced of that. But in any case, the point is, we, on the left, you will very frequently hear that um, inequality is evidence of injustice. Yes, I, I, I definitely wanted to re return to that. So continue. And this is not the case. A system mm -hmm. in which people were armed with high quality tools with which to compete, in which competition rewarded behavior that contributed to our collective well being and did not reward behavior where we harm each other, that would be a good system in which people would end up living unequally. Now, it might not be a massive level of inequality, it might be uh, more limited, but nonetheless, the point is. Those who would shoot for a system in which we all end up with exactly the same amount are actually setting us up for a very, a despicable and unjust outcome. Whereas a system in which the ability to earn a higher quality of living is available to you and you have the tools with which to pursue it is a desirable system. Okay, so let me add something to that. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so it isn't that obvious when you're talking about outcome and when you're talking about right now. I don't mean you, I mean in general. So like you have an array of talents and abilities and, and some of those are what you're going to use to pursue your outcome, but some of them are already outcomes. Okay, so, so it's not obvious what's the difference between an outcome and an ability. Now, you want to, you also want to, if everyone was equal, no one could trade because you wouldn't have anything to offer me. You have to offer me something I don't have. Now, you might say the fact that you have something I don't isn't an outcome, but I already said that what exactly constitutes the outcome is blurry. It's arbitrary. Now, all you have to bring to the world is what is unequal about you. And so unless, and you'd think that people who push on the diversity end of things would recognize that above all else. And so to, by, by forcing equality, you actually destroy what everyone has to bring to the table to trade. And that's a terrible thing because, well, because you, 
punish them then for the best thing they have, that's one terrible thing. But the other thing is you deprive everyone of the opportunity to benefit from everyone bringing what's unique about them to the table. So I would say there's a, there's a terrible contradiction between diversity as a value and equality of outcome as a desire. Those two things aren't, I don't see how they're logically commensurate. That's a very interesting point. I, re I, really, I really like it. Um, that in effect, uh, our collective well-being is a matter of the creation of wealth through the exchange and the exchange inherently requires an inequality. Right? Yes. Or and, and you even work for the inequality because let's say you're only as good as everyone else at, some, at everything. Well, then you're going to go out and educate yourself like mad about something right. until you're now a marketable commodity. And you should, and so you're making yourself, you're, you're increasing the amount of inequality as yeah. a consequence, but that's actually a virtue, not another, a vice. Another way of putting it is that in order for all of the jobs to get done that make us collectively robust and well off, people have to arbitrage things that are under uh, valued. In other words, if there is a dearth of computer programmers, then it is your desire to get ahead that might cause you to go into computer programming, which is the force that ensures that there are enough computer programmers in the next round of the game. And if you don't have that motivation, because everybody has been slated for an equal outcome, then the point is, there's no telling what you'll have too many of and too few of in the next round, because there's no reward for figuring out uh, which thing is uh, is is uh, well, worse too sparse. Even, there's a punish. There's a punishment for being exceptional, because your exceptionality is exists in violation of the principle of equality. Yes, it's. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's the Harris, Harrison Bergeron uh, mm -hmm. dystopia. And so anyway, I, I didn't want to um, drag us too far down the road here, but I do want to say that I think both of these arguments against anything uh, Marxist must be on the table, right? Not only does it devolve into something uh, authoritarian and ineffective at feeding people, but it also wouldn't be desirable even if it didn't. It would be horrifying.